cash draw reconciliation can only occur when the store has been closed and the credit card summary has been printed. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the synchronization pattern. The convergence of two or more branches into a single subsequent branch such that the thread of control is passed to the subsequent branch when all input branches have been enabled. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. Okay, we have two tokens arriving simultaneously at the end join and then the third task is executed. Now the token at the bottom comes first and we wait for the token from the top to arrive. And finally, we have the top token coming first and then we wait for the bottom token to arrive and then we execute the last task. In BPMN, we can model this with a merging parallel gateway. A merging parallel gateway is a parallel gateway with more than one input arcs and one output arc. To show the same behavior as in the flash animation, we have added some conditional events. These are for demonstration purposes only and not part of the pattern. So here we start and we start with the two conditions and we try to fire them simultaneously. And then we have closed door print credit card summary and then we have the parallel gateway synchronizing and then we have reconcile cash draw. In the second case, we first start the bottommost flow and then we wait at the parallel gateway for the top token to arrive after closed door and then we reconcile the cash draw. Last but not least, we start the top token first, close the store, and then we wait for print credit card summary to be finished, and then we reconcile the cash draw. One issue that may arise with this pattern is that the process can deadlock when one of the incoming branches doesn't deliver a token. Thank you for watching.